going to wrap, but um, it's been a while, guys. I know. I, um, hi, everyone. This is Leo Tonkin, and I'm with Mark and Sharon Beerhouse. I never say it right, do I? You did no, good. you were perfect. That was good. Mm-hmm. I remember first talking to you guys a few years ago and getting this project and floor plans, and you guys were like, so excited and trying to do everything all over the place and just delays and delays I remember too from what I recall mm-hmm. and then here you are now through COVID a couple of years later how's it going yeah. it's going yeah, wonderful yeah yeah you guys I know you guys are in Kentucky you have this facility that you're doing I guess you have a salt room a salt booth you have sauna you have a retail area Mm-hmm. And you're in Paducah. What what town in Kentucky? Paducah. Paducah. Yeah, I love it. Sorry, I missed you. I was just in Lexington and Louisville. Yeah. And, uh, and I was at in Lexington. I was at a the Hagyard Equine Medical Institute, where we have a salt room for the thoroughbreds. And mm-hmm. then there was a float conference that was in Louisville. Mm-hmm. And then I had to get out of town. So. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so, yeah, so tell me, I know that you have a business model where you have a brick and mortar salt therapy facility where you have a couple sauna and some other uh, modalities, I would believe that you're doing. Um, how have you been bringing in uh, new customers lately? Well, we've been using a uh, lunch and learn a lot. Um, we, uh, we take our, mm-hmm, we take our, uh, our uh, portable tent to um, to doctors' offices and do a, a lunch and learn and give them the the information from uh, the Salt Therapy Association um, and we just mm-hmm, and then the reference guide and then we just right. kind of sit down and talk with them about it and then um, we get uh, doctors to actually go into the tent, give them a demonstration, uh, and give them a demo. Right. Um, and, it's been really, really successful. Wow. So let me get this straight. So you're taking a pop-up salt booth with a small salt effects halo generator. You make an appointment. So how does that work? You just call up uh, the, the receptionist or make an appointment? Or how, how do you get in? Well, we actually go into the offices um, and we give them some of our brochures, some of our information. And then it's a, it's a follow-up that, that counts. Uh, and right. so follow up and talk with them about how uh, how much salt is really helping different different of their patients that are turning into our clients. And then um, our clients that are their patients are going to them and saying, wow, this is really helping me. And the doctors are actually noticing a difference. Um, That's great. And uh, it's been wonderful. And then we are actually having some of some uh, pulmonologists uh, contact us. And say right. we're seeing a difference in our patients, and um, we're we're wondering why. Mm-hmm. And so <laughs> then we're able to get in there and tell them the the reason is salt. So they've yeah, been sending their cool. their patients over to mm-hmm. us too. So wow. So yeah, as you may know, um, the, we one of the. Um, board members of the Salt Therapy Association, Dr. Laish is a pulmonologist in Orlando mm-hmm. and makes a lot of referrals to people to, the, you know, to go to the local salt room. So I'm assuming that when you go in there, you're providing education, you're showing them the research. Mm-hmm. Obviously, they have the testimonials of their patients. Are you, are you buying the docs lunch too? Are you bringing lunch oh, in? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because all, all happiness goes through the belly. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it, Mark. Yeah. Tell me about I'm, it. I'm right there with you. And we have some promotional products too, just mm-hmm. to kind of leave them as a reminder, like, oh yeah, every time they use a cup or a pen or something like that. So are you are you tracking the results? Like, you know, going in there, obviously you are you getting more referrals from the doctors or how how do you know that that it's working for you? Well we have a referral thing mm-hmm. on the intake forms. Okay. And they'll say they were referred by their physician or if they were referred. Very Mm -hmm. cool. So you're going into doctor's offices around your surrounding community. Are you just going into pulmonologists? Are you going into other, are you going to pediatricians or allergists or ENT or 
No, our, our first one was actually internal medicine. Um, okay. And they're, they're we're friends with her. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of how we got the foot, our foot in the door. Cause she was like, Hey, I want you to come and I want you to tell my group of doctors. And so we're like, okay. And they've been on board with it. So we've been able to schedule other ones. We have another one coming up this next Wednesday. So we're excited. Very cool. So what you're doing about trying to get one a month of a doctor's yeah. lunch and learn yeah. going on. Mm -hmm. cool. yeah. Are you take are you taking that concept to other locations other than physicians' offices? Oh, yeah. Are you doing other mm -hmm. lunch and learns? Oh yeah, we do them at schools. Um, schools. We, yes, mm -hmm. it was very very effective here. Uh, we we did a, a back to school um, special for teachers and all school workers, employees, yeah, all employees of school, and then we took it to one of the schools here, um, which really has helped out a lot. We have a lot of teachers that are coming in. Uh, because of that. And then we actually have one of the teachers that came in because of that special is now bringing her entire um, health class mm -hmm. to wow. us for, uh, for a field trip. Wow. So you so said they're coming to you. Yes. They're going to come to your facility. Oh, yes. wow. How cool is that? Yeah. We're so excited, Very... super excited about that. So, so you're going to this local school, you're promoting about how salt therapy really helps for people, especially young children in school, where we're constantly spreading germs and all of that. Mm -hmm. And you're bringing the pop-up salt booth there too, and you're giving them, them allowing them to experience the, the salt therapy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Very cool. And so, so do those... I was going to say, so is there a way that you are bringing, is it the teachers that you're marketing to, or is it the students and trying to get to their parents or how are you doing that? Well, at first it's the teachers that we market it to. Um, okay. And then they're seeing a difference. Uh, they're seeing how uh, it's building their immunity. Um, it's uh, they're not getting as, you know, sick as often. Uh, we have a right. lot of, um, uh, we have a lot of teachers that have just said, you know what, I'm, I'm usually, already sick um within the first week of school and right. they're just saying that they're not getting sick this year um right. and their their immunity has been built up um they're they're breathing better they're uh they're they're not um because one of the things that <laughs> that we went in there saying is that hey you know that in a week so many germs are walking through this door and they're just like right. we know we all get sick and i'm like this is the way that you can't. Uh, this is the way to prevent that. Um, and so we've had a lot of success. We have a, a one teacher in particular that um, she's just like, I, I, I can't believe what it's done for me. Mm -hmm. um, and she's our she's our biggest promoter now. Mm -hmm. um, right. She's able to move yeah. better because she was like, oh my gosh. She said a week before she came, she said that she had to pretty much crawl to like get herself up off the floor if she had to like get down and do anything she's like i can squat now without hurting she goes it's amazing this salt has been the best thing for me so she so really for her so in terms of her being able to have more freedom in how she breathes yes and how she breathes and how she moves and everything she said it's now. been helping everything so no that's that's great well i mean you guys have been very entrepreneur from the very beginning i believe where you guys wanted to pre-market and as you were building out and doing things and you know i know about a year ago we came out with the, this what we were initially marketing is to consumers right being able to right after covid and how do people get salted uh for themselves but you have a lot of people that are in the businesses you know as the industry continues to grow for people that are including uh, halo therapy in the business model but you guys have really taken it to another level by taking the pop-up salt booth and bringing salt therapy out to your community so i get that you're going to doctors which is a great idea and educating them and getting them on your side you're going to schools which i think that's a great idea um especially now is it back to school season and everything where, where else are you going out into the community with the pop-up salt booth different local vendor events mm -hmm. Well, um, so like like local trade shows or fairs or mm -hmm. um, green markets and that type of stuff mm -hmm. yep and They're and what do you do form. and you bring the pop-up booth and are you charging for sessions or are you discounting it or yes. are you giving it free tell me a little bit about what you do we do charge um 
it just depends on who we're marketing to, um, how much we charge. Um, you, like, yeah. How much do you have? Is it and, and you, you're charging ten dollars a session, twenty five dollars a session for somebody to pop in it's, the salt booth? It varies. It varies between. I mean, no less than ten, but it's between ten and fifteen usually. And then you're doing that, and you're obviously using that to then have people come back to your brick and mortars. Mm -hmm. And how's that working? And when you when you know, do you are you tracking the numbers? I mean, I. Some people that might be listening to this, it's like, okay, so you go to a, a fair, right? You go to a trade or a fair, fair show. Um, are you paying money to be there for some of them? No. As of right now, we haven't. We've been invited, and so, so you, we you, haven't had yeah. to. And to, sorry, to give, a, give yeah. kind of a breakdown, um, doctors, we, we saw uh, about 100 um, additional clients um, per month. Wait, so let me understand this because I want to make sure I get that right. So you're out there from just the doctors, or are you talking about the doctors in the schools and other events that you're going to? That was just the, that was just the, that doctors. Was just the doctors. So by going that to the doctors, the doctor. you got a hundred new customers, new leads coming through your door. In what time frame? Uh, in just that one month. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. And then out of those hundred, those people that are coming, did they have a incentive or a coupon or anything to do with it? Or they just came and this was the no, first the time doctor, they're showing it. Their no. doctor recommended it and they're like, okay, I'm going to go try this. And so, yep. And then wow. the, 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 we're, we're having about a, um, about a 60% um, return. When you say return, that People means that, that once they come there, they're, they're, you're retaining them, that they come Correct. back for for more. Correct. So you get 100 people in, and out of that, you got about a 60% retention value right. of people continuing. That's great. That's great, guys. You do that every month. You'd be, you'd be happy, right? Uh, yeah. uh, we will be happy. <laughs> yeah. And then that, on the, the uh, different, the different uh, vendor events. Um, yep. There are some that we haven't taken the salt booth to because it, we have either an outside event um, right. or there's just too many. We, there was one vendor event where a thousand people came through um, right. and it was there's just no way that you can possibly do um, the salt uh, salt booth for yeah, a thousand people. Yeah. Couldn't handle yeah. that, so. Uh, and so right. we just um, that was one where we it just presented information. Mm -hmm. a wellness fair. We just presented information. Uh, that one we we got we have a few, but we also had a few clients that came through, uh, and they were um, they're like, yes, we weren't there last week, and so they were our our best marketing was mm -hmm. the people that our current clients that came through. Right. That's yeah. I would assume that. I mean, there are you know as we as you know, Salt Chamber. We go to conferences and trade shows, and it could be in a an expense or deal for, for, for some folks, right? You know, it's a big booth and travel and everything. But when you look at it locally and you have these vendor shows, obviously there are large ones. I know that we've done a couple of conferences where we've had three or four of the pop-up salt booths. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we had people in it all the time. People were curious. People want to sit in. They want to try it. Uh, obviously, that's what you're doing. Uh, it becomes an extension of your business out in the community mm -hmm. and so just having that kind of presence and when you go to these fairs for those that you're and i understand mark outdoors i've always wondered of taking a smaller almost like a portable generator and plugging it in because it doesn't take much power for that mm -hmm. the smaller salt mm -hmm. effects halo generator obviously you don't want to do it when it's raining or too too much humid right. humidity right. Out. Mm -hmm. but we, we've had a couple people i know that have gone out where it was a green market they had a portable power and they kind of used that occasionally for getting people salted well it seems that when you do when you do that and people try it it's interesting that you have that many people that want to come back to the store and and check it out what's the reaction from doing the pop-up salt booth to then coming to your facility and sitting in your salt room or doing the other salt booth is there much of a difference in their reaction um, it seems like the salt tent is, you can um, make it a little bit more intense. 
mm -hmm. um, because it has the different colors uh, where you can yeah, go for the you know, all the way up to red. Um, yeah. And they, um, when we first start them out, obviously we start them out with the green. Uh, and then the, that's what I love about the salt booth is that you can cater to that individual. Um, yeah. You can take it all the way down. If they, they have a, a severe asthma or something like that, you can take it all the way down to 10% and then work them back up. Uh, we have a, we have one of our clients right now that she started at 10% mm -hmm. about a year ago. Um, and we've slowly worked her up to 40% now. Um, right. just, well, she went, had made it up to 80%, mm -hmm. but then she took a few months off because she went on vacation. Of course, she's a teacher, so she took the summer off. And then she came back. She's like, this has helped me so much, but I want to start back at like 30%. <laughs> so yeah. we're slowly working her back up. But... Yeah. And and for some, you know, it's the, the, the pop-up booth does give people that experience uh, in, in a shorter period of time. But I also want people to be aware that when you're in a salt room, it's a lower concentration over a longer period of time. So it's not necessarily you got to do a lot in a shorter period of time. It's the consistency of coming back and doing it over and again. That's right. Um, you know, children need a very small amount of concentration. Larger adults or depending on lung capacity, athletes, et cetera, you know, doing a larger concentration. For me, I, I, I like a lower concentration just because – of my cancer that I had years ago, it I, it, it, I need to do it low and slow for myself. And to your point, everybody kind of reacts differently to it. But I think that's cool. So you're going to schools, you're going to doctor's offices, you're going to vendor fairs. Where else are you going to any, any, anywhere else? Have you gotten into police stations or fire departments or we any, gotten anything in like there that? We haven't yet, but we've given um, promotionals. And so they'll come into our... Um, our facility and to use that promotion. Right. So for you, I would assume that your return of your time and energy and investment of doing these activities is paying off. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. The ones that don't pay off, we don't go. <laughs> we don't <return>. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. But when you think about it, you guys have this pop-up salt booth that really wasn't that expensive. And here you are, getting a hundred new customers, new leads coming in through your brick and mortar, retaining 60% of them that are buying. And then you are going out there and getting more. It'll be interesting to see of those that you first bring in, what's the life cycle of them staying a member or continuing doing salt, right? I think that I, that would be very useful for measurement purposes, mm -hmm. right? Um, getting people to come back and keep utilizing it again. Are you guys on a membership model or are you on a package or uh, session? All, all, all of the above. Uh, so we have, we have, okay. we have our, what we call them our monthlies. Um, who have, okay. Um, up to three visits a week um, for the month. And then there's a set price for that. Then we have our packages where you can get um, like family shareable packages uh, yep. Then we have um, other packages or other than individual. Uh, so they gotcha. can come in for their individual time. Um, and we have some that they want their individual um, and because they want to come when they want to. Uh, yep. <laughs> and, so, and we're fine with that. Yeah. So when you're going out to the fair, so when, obviously when you're going to the doctor's offices or some of the other ones that you're setting up appointments, obviously you're not, quote, charging them to be in the salt booth, I would assume, but you're doing that for outreach. Obviously it costs pennies in right. salt. Mm -hmm. So it's really your time. And then you're giving people the experience and what are you giving them a, a voucher, a coupon, a card or something to redeem to come in. And that becomes part of the program. Well, we're, we're not because we haven't seen the need in that. Um, because uh, if, if they're going to come in um, and the doctors are referring them, um, then we, we haven't seen the need to give them a voucher. Um, right. But when, when we start, if we go to doctor's offices and they feel like they need vouchers, then that's when we have it ready for I them to you. give it. I got you. I got you. Interesting. Be interesting about following up with some of these physicians, uh, with some of their patients that are coming in to kind of close the loop and see, for some people, and I know that there's a, 
you know, a lot of studies and research out there, but it would be interesting to see closing the loop from the physicians on if, if all of a sudden they see that their patient has better lung functionality, mm -hmm. if it has more lung volume, if their meds have been, you know, adjusted. Um, and that would be really interesting to find out. It'd be good for you guys to kind of go back and, and hear from them and do it on more on a regular basis. If you, are you doing that? Or are you thinking about doing that now? Well, we actually have um, one in particular that was um, told to come to us by her doctor or by his doctor, I should say. Um, and at first he came in and uh, <clears throat> this was a, what, he's 84, about 80, 84 years old and a, yeah. um, kind of robust uh, older man. And he came in and he said, is this assault? And, uh, and we, we were like, yes, sir, it is. And he said, my doctor told me to come over here. Um, and when he came in, he was really struggling. Um, he had a, a, a grayish look. Um, he was just struggling to breathe. Um, and really stage four COPD. Um, okay. And he came in and we slowly started to get him in the salt. You know, he went to, went to the salt booth. Um, excuse me, and nothing really happened. Um, and we said, well, it's a consistency thing. Mm -hmm. So he came back the second time. And again, he breathed it and you could tell it, it was moving, but nothing really happened. And then when he came in that third time, um, we were up front in the office while he was in the back um, in the salt booth. And Sharon and I both got up at the same time and we went back there to check on him uh, because the cough that he had, um, I wanted to make sure he was okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he said, I haven't coughed like that in 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, and at that time when he went home and he took that, that steam hot shower, <clears throat> he said that he, I mean, I'm talking, this man was coming in with almost oxygen, um, yeah, barely able to move. Yeah. Um, and he just kept continuously coming back, coming back, coming back. And, and his color started coming back and then we saw him at a um a large store um you know we're just walking around and we saw him and he came up to us and he's 84 and he was almost running circles around us right. um, at that point the the color he was pink he was it was just it was amazing and he said my doctor is just floored by my progression mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. from from being gray to to now, he said, I'm pink and I can actually walk around. Um, and this is a large store that he was walking around. Had no oxygen tank. He was just, I mean, he was carrying his groceries. Um, and it was just, it was a, it was a true it's blessing amazing. is what it was. No, that's, I love hearing that. I love hearing that. You know, we often forget that when, you know, we are in business and we want to do well. But I think part of it is is the satisfaction we get that we can really make a difference in people's mm -hmm. lives, you know, when people get to breathe better. And I appreciate so much what you guys are doing. Um, you really are great entrepreneurs. You guys have bootstrapped this from the beginning, uh, finding a location, building it out. And here you are getting out in the community, using the, the self-therapy home and the pop-up booth to be an extension of your business. Mm -hmm. Which I think I don't I think a lot of uh, facilities will find very interesting because it seems that it was a good investment for you and in paying for itself out there. Mm -hmm. um, we have somebody that's in uh, outside of Indianapolis where the upcoming Salt Therapy Association conference is going to be. He's been renting out his Salt Therapy pop up booth to people, so when they go to travel or they live too far from his wife's boutique. He's actually renting them to people on a weekly or monthly basis. And then we have those that are affiliates where, you know, some people just want to have it for themselves. Um, obviously, you're going out in the community educating and you want to bring people in. But it's another way of adding additional revenue to your business because obviously it's working for you. Mm -hmm. And when you go to these fairs or you go, I love that you go to the doctor's offices. I think that's a great idea. And I love that you're going to schools. Um, getting the teachers involved. Now you just got to get the parents uh, involved and let their their children do it. Obviously, I think there. I don't know if there's liability of needing permission for 
a children, you know, I don't know how that works per se. I'm sure that there's some things about that that uh, people that might be listening, you just don't, you know, you need parents' permission probably for kids to get in there. I don't know. Um, but it just seems like it's a, a timely thing. But I also think, you, I think you mentioned, or maybe you were talking to, to Craig about looking at getting to the firemen and the policemen and going right. and educating them and what they Well, with me being an, ex, an old firefighter, can, uh, I know yeah. what it did for me. Um, and yeah. I know the stuff that I got up out of my lungs that I didn't even know was in there. Um, you know, and I was a firefighter for 15 years. Um, and it was just amazing what, how it's, it's totally changed my life. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And then, because I can sleep now knowing that <laughs> he's not going to die. <laughs> and I'm not We're snoring. Not <laughs> yeah, and he's not snoring. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. you know, when you think about it, I remember a bunch of years ago, um, I was really curious to think, how can we get salt therapy out to those in the wildfires out in California? Mm-hmm. And you start looking at what's been happening with over this year between the extreme heat everywhere, what it's done for allergies and the seasonality and shifting because of the climate. And then the fires in Canada and all over, um, you got to understand that we're breathing stuff in every day, whether we're indoors and outdoors. And I think firefighters that are going into any kind of a situation, a fire situation, whether it's a home or commercial, the chemicals and the pro and everything that you're exposed to, Mm -hmm. as well as they're protected. And I've talked to a bunch because I think it's a great place to look at bringing salt therapy that any after any call that the crew goes out why not go in a salt salt booth for 10 minutes mm-hmm. and make that part of something um and as you, given your background be really curious to see how you can take the pop-up oh, out there and start educating them and seeing what their possibility is of having you know a salt booth present or something in their uh station given you know given what you're telling me Mm -hmm. because there is really nothing that you could really do to clean out your lungs um but i think that's great i think that's great so very cool so you're doing lunch and learns you're doing physicians you're going to schools you're doing the the local vendor fairs that are around that make sense have you gone to like any senior development or community other uh living environments where people are? Have you thought about going anywhere else? That's our next, that's next. That's our your next step? We, no. yeah, I mean, we have so many different things that we're just like, okay, we're slowly introducing to getting one group in at a time, so. So you're doing, okay. what, what are you doing a couple of these a month? Yeah. And that's what you're scheduling for? Yeah, as Very of right now, I mean, like the fall season, we, we try to book more just because that's when people can really feel the difference like the yeah. summertime a lot of people weren't, weren't really interested Interesting. I mean, we, we did a couple of the um, wellness fairs mm-hmm. um, but they're more susceptible to or more accepting of it if they can actually feel a difference if they're you know right if they suffer from allergies right. so. well and a lot of people are going to the beach yeah. um, mm-hmm. in the summer, in the summer. Yeah. and so we're 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 the beach twelve hours north, right? Um, so, go. so it's uh, it, you know, it's that's that's what that's what's so wonderful right. about it is that, and this is what I love is that we have people that are that are that will be going to the beach and then they get back home, and this mecca of allergies that is in western Kentucky, and they're just like I can't breathe anymore, and I'm like yeah. that's because you went to the beach, um, and now you have to come to to our beach. Um, yeah, and you, you come to uh, the dry beach that, that we have here, right here in Paducah, Kentucky. There you go. Yeah, and I, yeah, people do metaphorically compare it, and it is great being by the ocean, but obviously those salt particles are a little bit more moist, right? They're already, they don't have the same quality, but people do feel it. And I love it, you know, here in Florida where I live, um, right off the beach. Um, but then being able to, get the pure salt and the dry salt and, and kind of elevate it to the next level has really been pretty miraculous for a lot of people. And so it's just great to hear your all story. You started this, what, in 2021, 20, more or less, 2020. 
And well, right, we started now, with, right smack we in the middle of it. Did the research and everything yeah. in 2020, in but opened in 21. Right. Very good. Yeah. Right in the middle of it. Yeah. yeah. Right in the middle of it. And then here you are, man. I, I appreciate the work that you guys do and the difference you're making in your community. Um, it's just outstanding business entrepreneurs and great salt therapy folks that uh, just been really great to hear your story. Great to hear how you're utilizing other creative ways to go out there, not just to educate, but then to build your business model up. And I'm glad that the salt effects and the pop-up salt booth is really helpful, you guys, um, and all that. But I, I, take, I appreciate you taking time out and talking with me. Well, we thank you. Let other people know that. Not nah, been great, man. I have to get you a salty. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know. You know. I got to get a there, big yes, one. Yes, I need a big one. You know. Like I said, that, that, like the, 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 oh, the, the way that everybody's heart's through the stomach. <laughs> there you go. Well, I like to think that the, the key right. to everything is making sure people can breathe. You know, you got to breathe first, and you know, I get it. Well, guys, thank you very much for taking some time out. I'm just 